On the last episode, these three unlikely heroes, or some more likely, found each other all in the same tavern and under the same employment. After a short talk, they got aboard a, a local merchant's airship and flew across the clouds together to deliver a shipment up to Lesser Alertos, a small island in the Alertos region where they're dropping off their shipment. On the way, they encountered some little wind zephyrs that had made their way onto the ship and were trying to cause some okay. no good actions. But they took care of them okay. and sat down in the in the in the in the little town on that okay. island. Okay. Afterwards, they encountered a town meeting that appeared to be going poorly, okay. and discovered that the town was being okay. attacked okay. by haunted right or animated scarecrows that come alive at night and attack yes. their owners. Whatever could it mean? Oh, they no. set off our heroes, uh, punch a jester, help some apple problem. farmers, and talk to a fisherman. And then set off to investigate this strange anomaly and find out what it means. Are we starting out like going into the, the fields or something? Or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I believe the you just punched wait, the lights wait, out of uh, that random jester. Yeah. yeah. Remember that last time? <laughs> I oh, I do remember that. Absolutely I do remember off, that. Uh, into the cornfields to go investigate what these animated scarecrows are as the sun began to go. You've left the region of the town. Is there anything you would like to do or say as you see big cornfields all across the area? There are some paths cut into it, though. You make your way down the hill, the slope of this island. It's big enough at this point. You're closer to the middle, so you can't see the edges. Just, um... Feel, it looks like you're on normal ground. Gotten to the edge of this cornfield, there are two paths ahead of you. As you see, it goes into the cornfield, and one branches off to the right, the other branches off to the left. Um, is there one that we, like... I say we go right. want to go with two, or...? I say right is always right, so we should I go right. I say Chris goes right, yeah. and we go left. <laughs> I hate that idea. I'm not opposed to that. No, I, I hate that idea. idea. Fine, Fine, I'll go left. Jesus Christ. We, we, have we have to split up. We have to split up. We have to split up. You have a feeling... Okay. You have to split it up. Uh, this is definitely not a good idea, because Daniel is... Not at all. Yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Die. You're gonna Scooby-Doo split up and look for clues? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> So you two, I believe you yeah. two head off to the, to the the left or the right path, I don't remember. The left. We went left. The yeah. left. So you two head down the left path in between the corn, mark, making your way down, pushing across things. And as you push your way through the corn, you spy a windmill sticking up out of the corn. Should we go examine it? Go look around? Yeah. Down. Get up close to the windmill. Are you being stealthy or are you just uh, going? Um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll we'll try be to stealthy. be stealthy. Yeah. Sneak Give me around. a stealth check. I'm supposed to be good at these, but you know things not don't always work out for me with these. Matt, twenty, eighteen. Got an eighteen. We're quiet as fuck. <laughs> Normally I am, but remember last episode I kept rolling like three. fucking ones. I kept rolling one. You slip by very stealthy and make it to the front. It seems abandoned here. There it isn't. Uh, but the door is sitting ajar slightly. It's this old-ass oh. windmill. It's, it's clearly been here a while. Might as well go in, right? Yeah, fuck it. Push the door open. And uh, immediately you notice um, there is a sheet of paper that looks a lot newer than everything else uh, in this place, along with a bottle of ink and some crystals, uh, as well as several blood spatters across the different walls. All of that stuff seems a lot more recent than the building it's in. Um, I guess I'll go up and inv investigate the, the paper and stuff like that. See what's go going up. down. Pick up the sheet of paper. Um, make, are you trying to read the sheet of paper? Because it's needs an arcana check. Uh, sure, yeah. Not written. In. It's an arcana check. 19. You can recognize this as... A, some kind of complicated spell recipe, uh, an ingredients list for how, for how one would summon a ghostly servant to possess an object. Ah, that's got to be what's the, going on then. Among the among the um, the 
what required ingredients are uh, blood from the corpse that you are trying to uh, bring the spirit of, an object to animate it in, and a crystal to lodge into the object to be animated. Mm. Which is what the crystals, you assume, are lying next to it are for. And you can also assume that that's why there's blood yeah. spatters on the wall. Yes. But someone was experimenting in here. Is there, like, a other stuff in that we can... Other stuff exactly. in the room that we look yeah. around, or...? Make an investigation check. Five. Nine. Normally, you didn't... You don't... You would have to look a lot harder. But you hear from up the ladder across to the side, in, like, one of the upper areas of the, of the place, uh, you hear a, a crash, like someone's bumped into something. Oh. Well, fuck. Should we try to... I guess... I'll try to, like... Climb up the ladder stealthily and see what's up. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Like sneak Can I up the ladder. Sit like on guard at the bottom. Sure. Okay. Right, Make me a stealth check. Twenty-one. Right. Oh fuck yeah. Oh. I'm, I'm sneaky. Hiding was so bad. You sneak your way up the ladder and peek over the top, and you see. There's like a little a little living quarters up here that has been made out of the makeshift stuff on the upper level of this windmill. Uh, where, mainly where the grinding part of the mill is, that big thing you turn up there. Yeah. Um, there's a wardrobe uh, and a bed and a bedside table along with some robes and like various like um, food wrappers and residue lying around. It's like a dirty room. And you see uh, the shape of someone clamber into... The uh, into the wardrobe and close the door. It's this like uh, big cloaked shape with a big hood. Okay. It's brown. Yeah, I'll, I'll like. Okay, and then can like I can stealth? Can I just I'll try to stealthily climb up as well. Um, or nope. does it not matter? I don't think you need to worry about it because they're in. You can tell they're in the wardrobe, so they aren't exactly like looking. Okay. Because it's closed. So All right, then I I climb up with. I you. will sneak over to the wardrobe know, though. You can hear some like rustling around in there. What do you, what should do you we mean? should we open it or I guess? Yeah, I mean one one of us should open it. The other one should like stay. Right yeah, yeah, I'll I'll open it. So I I like reach out and grab. I pull out like a, a dagger, and then like rip open the door and I'm like also hold the yeah. hold the dagger like as I rip open the door. Bling open the door to see a hooded figure dressed all in brown uh, with glowing yellowish eyes. And he's huddled in there and he goes as he, as he falls back in, in surprise seeing you here. Not, he's not, it's not realizing you'd come up and found him. As he Who are you? Hands. Who are you? I am Corn. <laughs> What are you doing with the uh, the scarecrows? What scarecrows? I know nothing of scarecrows. You know, I nearly you know what scarecrows I'm talking about. What's going on downstairs with the blood and the crystals? And the what blood and crystals? I'm, I did. It was like that when I found it. Oh sure. Don't lie to me, Cornwall. <laughs> Cornman, Cornwall, whatever your name is. It's Cornith. I don't care. <laughs> don't lie to me, corn. Like Kenneth, but corn. I don't care, corneth. Oh, but you should. A dark evil approaches. You cannot stop it. Okay. What's going on with the scarecrows? Very well. Since you've captured me, I will explain everything. Come close. Will it whisper? I'll whisper it in your ear. Little nope. one. Say it out loud. Down. Say I it out loud. Down. I need to, we need to whisper it in your ear. Alright. I lean I lean I lean down. It's too, the secrets are too terrible to tell out loud. He gets real close to your ear. And then he yells, Shoy! And you see a flash of smoke billow out uh, and fill the room before it dissipates and he has vanished. With a little note sitting on there that uh, is written with the same parchment and it says see ya suckers uh, bro, can I like inv I guess maybe like investigate the uh, maybe the magic that he used to disappear yeah sure make an arcana check Eight. you can tell he teleported 
<laughs> um, he, like, he did a little. He's, you could tell he's definitely a wizard or some kind of mage, and he made a little teleporty to get away. Okay. Um, and as that happens, um, you could. I think actually, with that, you could also tell he didn't actually go that far, just out of your sight, out of your line of sight. Okay. And with that, we're gonna cut over to a Vogler Burger. You head off down to the Jesus other track. Christ. Deep, you go deeper into the cornfield as your leads you into the main path. Uh, how do you approach these cornfields? Are you being stealthy? Are you being threatening? What's your plan? I'm being pretty stealthy, I think. I give me a stealth check Fucking then. Ten. You 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 don't feel very stealthy. Ah, uh, okay. Looking <laughs> along, well, eventually you reach a big open clearing in the crops in the corn, mm -hmm. where this giant sigil, which you would not recognize probably unless you want to do an arcana check, but um. Sure. I'll do it. Actually, no, I don't want to do a card show today. It's this big sigil on the ground, uh, written in blood, and there's uh, various like ornamental shit lying around it. What would you like to uh, do? Uh, give me a, I was going to go investigate. Sweep. Give me an investigation. Yeah, another 10. Well, you go over and you begin to examine the intricate designs uh, on the ground before you realize something is examining you from all directions in the cornfield you see oh, no. bright yellow eyes light up in between the stalks why did they come up on this mission glowing oh. with ethereal power as you hear join the corn <laughs> join the corn you oh, see oh. big hay covered claws begin to reach from the hay and and these big sack heads as six scarecrows enter from the corn. Oh, God. Uh, I don't even know what to do. I'm panicking, brother. <laughs> but I, should I just say who goes there? I think you've noticed who goes there. <laughs> you, you say, if you want to, you can yell. You, you Go ahead. Do your character. Who are you? Who are you? What do you want? Join the corn! No! What? Uh, I look for an escape. I look for an escape because I'm out of there, bro. I'm, no, I'm not. Nope. Make a dexterity check to try and dodge and weave between them. 10s, 12. Thank God for plus two. Ooh. Fortunately, uh, they no, weren't expecting... Don't say fortunately. Oh, no, you're actually very oh. fortunate because they did... Bad. Oh, okay. You, um... Said unfortunate. No, no, fortunately. Um, mm -hmm. most of the time, these scarecrows have gotten used to, uh, their, their, their prey running and, or getting cowering in fear, but you spring to your feet and deftly dash between them. Uh, are yeah. you heading off into the cornfield or are you heading yeah, off corn down field. No, I'll go, uh, I'll go in the cornfield. You go into the cornfield. Don't you're shake now, your head at me, Brady, bro. <laughs> you're now running in between the ears of corn and you hear sprinting right behind you. All six of the scarecrows coming after you through the corn. There's fucking Look, six? Yes, there are six of them. And they're all running after you, shouting, Join the corn! There. That's what's chasing you through the cornfield. <laughs> Come on, I'm out. I'm out. I'm so out. How do I run faster? <laughs> you're dashing. You're going as fast as you can. The only thing you can see through this maze of corn is you can see the top blade of the windmill poking up over the corn. I'll aim for the windmill. Run towards the windmill. And we are going to cut back to Zephyr and um, Wernstrom. You hear your friend positively hollering <laughs> outside. What do you do? Oh, I wonder what that um, is. <laughs> I, I look out and I am like, oh, what the heck is going on out there? It sounds so pathetic of me What is he up. doing? You see yeah, seven shapes moving doing? through the corn. You can't quite tell who it is. You are now down the base level in the clearing around the uh, windmill. Mm -hmm. As you see, first, uh, our good friend uh, Vogler Berger emerge from the corn, followed shortly by the six scarecrows. Do you choose to stand and fight or keep running? With I say we fight. I say we fight. In that case, we. I think it's time it's to time roll initiative. Yeah. Yeah. So our order is going to be Brayden, Chris, Brady, scarecrows. We oh, we can all kill them instantly if we don't get good. No, run. we won't. No, kill them probably not. They probably got like eighty hundred damage health and shit. What would you like to do? I, I draw my rapier and I run towards one and stab, stabby, stab him. Roll two hit. Eighteen. Oh, 
you hit him easy fucking peasy. He's made of hay, so he's not very resistant. And it does eight damage. Six, man. I really made six of these fuckers, didn't I? Actual deranged move. Why did I do that? Uh, is that, and you've disengaged to hide in the corner? Yes, I've disengaged to hide into the thing. My turn? Oh, yeah. What you doing, oh, boy? Uh, I'll attack number three. Uh, I'll attack it with, let's see. I'll do my javelin, whatever that is. Oh, an eight hit him. Unfortunately, it does not. Scarecrow, uh, you actually do hit him, but he pulls his uh, his hay chest apart, and you don't hit. Him. If I use Thunder Wave, would I hit? Would I end up hitting them as well? Uh, not Brayden, because he's in the corn. Uh, but you would hit Vogler, because he's all up in their gym gyms. Chris, Chris, how much Thunder Wave? You Chris would be fine. You're a, you're a fucking <laughs> dick. One. He has so oh, much help. You have so much help. Oh, oh, come on! Uh, I, think I, I think I might uh, cast the third I'm level. I'm fucking getting bullied yeah. this episode. I will say as well, um, Thunder Wave will be able to hit all of them. Jesus. Does that mean, yeah. that mean I also have to do a save? Yeah, you have to con yeah. save. Yeah. And then do all I have the... to roll to hit? Nope, it just happens. Oh, okay. So no, you no. step forth and you go, Big on! And you send a blast of energy out towards them. They're all going to make their con save real quick. All fucking six I have to roll. Roll your damage. Right. Or should I say roll your damage? Roll the damage. 17. So the majority six. of them are going to take 17 damage. They also get knocked back 15 yeah. or 10 feet. If they get knocked back, do they into come you. into my range for an, uh, for a... Yes, actually. One of, uh, one of them is going to be knocked back attack. into your range. And you're continuing to opportunity attack. attack. Yeah. Chris, uh, you are going to take 8 damage, but you aren't going to be pushed. So, so one gets like ping-ponged ping over to me, and I <laughs> opportunity <laughs> attack it. Yes, make your opportunity <laughs> attack against... It's actually the more injured the one. Hit. Do I roll the I hit, or still? Yes. Okay. Fuck, 12. That's actually enough. These guys oh. are... They're made of hay. Oh, that's oh, fair. <laughs> Five damage. But they are pushed ten feet away. Yeah, so. yeah. Except for two, which passed the safe. And are still all up in your gym jams. And speaking of being all up in your gym jams, time to get your ass kicked, because they're going to attack now. Did did the one die, or is he all still, six. Still, alive? No, he's still alive? Yes, you're about to get attacked by six scarecrows. All six are. Do I lose out. my uh, my hidden like my hidden like now that I'm hidden? Uh, I don't think you're hidden anymore because you attacked. Okay. Three are going to attack you. Um, uh, Bogler. Uh, Bog um, two are going to attack Bogler, and one because there's only one nearby you is going to attack you, Zephyr. I only got one on me. I get three. Yep. Oh shut there. up! You put damage on me. I don't want to hear it. They hurt. They you hurt them the most, so they're aggro. Oh, uh, true. Does a fourteen hit your armor class? <sighs> By one. By fucking one. R.I.P. My man. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, eighteen plus two. Oh, uh, so you pass, yeah. but you still take six slashing damage. Okay. Scarecrow attack number two. Well, that's that's just one of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. Just one scarecrow oh. attack. Uh, the next scarecrow lunges in, and you deftly bat his claws away with your uh, with your armored hand or with your armor. Last scarecrow attack. Ooh, does a six hit your armor class? No. The last scarecrow also lunges in, and you make a little magic shit push him away. Oh, so they just like rolled really poorly. Oh, they rolled very poorly, actually. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but there's still more scarecrows, so next is your turn, uh, Burger. Burger. <laughs> does, does a 22 hit your armor class, me boy? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna need you to make a wisdom save. Eight. Uh, you are now frightened of the scarecrow and must use your next turn to run away. No. Um, <laughs> and you take six slashing damage. And the other one. Does a seven hit your armor class? No. You parry his claws away with what's your weapon? A javelin? You bat it away. Get out of here. Yeah. Final scarecrow on you, Zephyr. Yes. Uh, that's a net one. <laughs> you 
been hidden sad. in the corn, like the shadow, parry away his claws. Then I just re-stab him with the eight, rapier again. Five, okay, five, eight. Five. No, and eight doesn't hit. That doesn't hit. You once again try and stab him, but you miss any vital spots and just hit hay. And then Chris so. has to run. But yeah, Chris, you are terrified. You are filled with ah. fear. <laughs> you must run away from the scarecrow. Uh, two of them that attacked you pursue after you, Gwen. Join the corn! <laughs> uh, That's your turn. Uh, I'm uh, probably going to use magic again, because there's multiple. I think the only way that I'm going to be able to do anything is if I use magic. Yeah, there's still the other four around you. So I'm going to use burning hands okay. um, in the second level, which is a 46. And it's similar to the other one, except this time it's it's just fire damage. And it says the wait, fire ignites any flammable objects in that area that... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, not doing that. <laughs> no, never mind. Not setting fire to the cornfield. I don't know. I mean, they are made of hay. They're pretty flammable. Okay, yeah, but it's also going to set the whole entire cornfield on fire and the whole entire town loses all of their food. That would be <laughs> a <bit. That> would... <laughs> I am not chaotic evil. <laughs> Good choice, uh, good choice. Hold on. I'll do Thunder Wave again, but I'm going to do it first level this time. Two of them... Oh, actually, they haven't been able to leave yet because it's not their turn. Brady's already left. So, uh, I think Wait. they're all still within range. What do you What do you do to cast Thunder Wave on them? What does it sound like? A big stomp and a yell, I will not join the corn. <laughs> <laughs> they're offended by this. They appear offended. All right, and they're all going to make, what was it, con saves? Yeah, 15. Okay. Well, Do again, you think... the majority of them failed. Okay. Eight, eight uh, damage. Eight full damage. Wow. They're all still alive. Uh, two are going to run after Berg. Uh, the three are going to attack you again, and the one is going to go after you once more. Actually, uh, the two run after you, uh, Berger. But they don't catch you in time, and aren't able to make an attack. Yeah, uh, Brady, does a sixteen hit your armor class? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, give me a, give me a wisdom save. You scared of hay? Uh, fourteen plus two, that'll be a sixteen. That passes. You take six slashing damage. I'll take that, I guess. All right, scarecrow attack number two is a nat one. You block him away again. <laughs> the scarecrow can't roll. Scarecrow attack yeah. number three is a nineteen. Okay, maybe oh. they can. <laughs> Please make another really saving throw. And uh, take six. Flashes. This one's gonna be a nine plus two is eleven. That passes. Really? You are not frightened. Yep. And please take six slashing damage. Yeah, I'm at nineteen health now. Ooh, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, that's not pretty good. <laughs> now you're okay. Oh, and the one attacking you, Brayden, also rolled a nat one. That's back to back for him. Back the first back time he rolled. You're positively you're 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 dunsing on this man. You're absolutely balling on him in the cornfield. He cannot. Can right. this ad like 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 uh make him upset? <laughs> He's very angry. He goes join the corn. <laughs> Come on, man. In the corn. Uh, I'm gonna stab him with a rapier. I'll try to Go stab, stab, stab him. Uh, are you does a it? 25 hit his armor class? Boy, oh boy, it does. Yeah, no, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding. All right. I, he says, "Oh boy, oh boy, it does." <laughs> um, ten damage. How do you wish to slay this scarecrow? Uh, so since he, since he rolled the the one. He like dove. He like dives at me, and I like, I like just. He's diving at me in mid the air, just stab him with the sword as he's diving. You've defeated one of the scarecrows, Chris. You are no longer afraid. Burger is back. There's two <laughs> scarecrows in of you. What do you do? Oh yeah, I attack him. I will do a javelin at it with the rage. Javelin. Make your attack. So I got 15. Enough. You hit him. Give me my damage roll. What do I get? 
Roll that damage and add two for the rage. Oh, 11. Does the nine and then plus 11, yes. You go in for a big chunky stab. How do you take him out? I don't know. Throw him up and spin him around, I guess. Or you spin him around and he turns into hay. Spin him around hey, and he gets shot. Yeah. <laughs> Another scarecrow eliminated. And it is your turn. There are three scarecrows near you, uh, Wernstrom. I'll use my, uh, my Yickle Whoop. I don't you remember, remember what that is. You remember that like that thing that we saw? We were like, wait, I want that. That sounds cool. It's literally just like a, it's just like it's just like a spear. Oh, okay. But I have to throw it. Throw it at the beefier one. These okay. scarecrows are looking menacing. They're coming in, they're trying to get you. They're going join the corn. Uh, does a twelve hit? It does. And damage four damage or six damage. Sorry. Ooh. Bro is still alive, but uh, looking non nonplussed. It is scarecrow time. Uh, two scarecrows attack uh, you, Wainstrom. A twenty-two to your armor class. Yeah, that hits. That yes. hits. Yeah, that that definitely hits. Yep. Wisdom save. Okay. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> you fail. You are frightened of this scarecrow. You must use your next turn to run away. Can I take and six damage? Take six damage. Scarecrow number two. That is a 20 to hit. Not natural. Dirty 20. Uh, that hits. And you are going to take another six slashing damage. And you're already frightened. Yeah, I'm at seven health. That means you can survive a whole other scarecrow attack. Another one of those sca the scarecrows rounds around the other way and attacks oh. you. Oh, okay. Does an 11 hit your armor class? No. Am I able to, uh, since he's getting into my range, do a uh, opportunity attack? Or mm, Yes, I think that's how that works, so sure, why not? Stabby stab with the rapier. Nat 20. The hit. There's 8 damage. With the, without the double. Um, with the double, I guess. Damn, that was a really shitty roll. Go in for a big old stab. Damage, it does not die. Fuck. Um... I think that was the third scarecrow going after. Uh, yes, yeah, so the other scarecrow attacking you, Chris. Does a 16 hit your armor class? Yes. Wisdom save? Oh, 14. That passes, but you still take six slashing damage. Uh, uh, Braden's turn? You hit stabby, him. stab him, hit him. Hit damage. him, and it does five damage. You kill him. I grab him, and I like. Cut his arms off and then stab him through like the chest or something. Oh, brutal! No I mean, he explodes into hay and no it floats down to the ground. Sorry, there's only three left. Two near you, uh, Wayne Strum, and one near you, Burger. And speaking of Burger, it is your turn. There is one in front of you. you I attack this motherfucker with rage still active. Javelin again, baby. Oh, come on! Eleven. You know what? That's enough to hit. Yes. Well, I guess with the rage, it adds it to a seven, but I got a five, so plus two is a seven. Not quite dead. He's getting close. But close to dead. Yes, you are terrified. And the two scarecrows, ooga, ooga, after you. They got, they're going hay mode. They're going insano crazy. Uh, it, that means it's now scarecrow that's time. But there's one that's going to attack you, Burger. Does a five hit your armor class? I think it does. No, no, no. You block him away easily. Get out of here, Scarecrow. Now, the other two can't reach you, Brady, but one of them is going to open its mouth really wide, and its eyes are going to light up an even brighter glowing yellow, and it's going to unleash its terrifying glare. Make a wisdom saving. You feel a shivering in your bones, but you push it off, and you keep running from these Scarecrows. Brayden, it's your turn. There are two scarecrows a ways away near Braden, near 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 Wainstrom, and one scarecrow near Berger. What do you do? Okay, I will go attack one of the ones near Wainstrom. You zip over. You and attack I the will... one or the stronger one? I'll attack the stronger one. Okay, so nine, I guess. That does not hit. Shit. You missed the scarecrow, and it is now your turn. 
Burger. There was one scarecrow in front of you. Vogler. Vogler. How do you say it like that? Burger. Vogler, burger. <laughs> what do you do to the funky little scarecrow who's really googling it up in front of you? Uh, I'll attack his little ass again. 27. Jesus. You hit him. Is it nat 20? Yeah, nat yeah, 20. Nat 20. Roll that double damage, my dude. Really? really? Come on, on that's man. That's it. it. Whatever. Yeah, that happened to me also. Uh, seven plus a two rage, which is nine. Nine? Hey, you know what? That's enough. How do you kill the other scarecrow that you were fighting over here? Uh, uh I rip him into part, part of a piece of the patch. <laughs> you run up to him and you say, I'm the hay baler, and you rip him to pieces. <laughs> I think Wainstrom might be dead. Oh, speaking of Wainstrom, it's that your is, turn. It is. Uh, and you are no longer afraid of the Scarecrows. That's good. But you might still be a bit afraid of the Scarecrow, as because there are two of them currently barreling towards you at high speeds. I yeah. can use Chill Touch and then use uh, Twin Spell to put to Chill Touch on the both of them. So does a hit 17 each. hit. Oh, boy, howdy do does that hit. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll for the other one. Uh, yeah, a 23. <laughs> oh boy, you hit both of them. Two spectral hands fly from your grasp and attack these two funky, gunky skeletons. Ooh. Not skeletons, scarecrows. Okay, it's it's going to be eight. Eight damage. Yes. And the other one? Or that is one's going to be 12. Four? Oh! How do you kill that one with your magic skeletal hand? I yell, you shall not pass. You hit him with a Gandalf quote? <laughs> yeah, oh, and I'm holding, I'm, 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 I'm casting this with my staff. <laughs> Slam your staff yeah. in the ground and skeleton hands fly out, beat the shit out of them. There is now one scarecrow. Wait, sorry, uh, there's one more scarecrow, one and they're scarecrow. going to attack you. Uh, Z Z Zephyr. Not Zephyr. Um, Wainstrom. Wainstrom. Do you have Go one ahead. HP? Or... I have seven. I have seven. 16 hit your armor class? Yeah, yeah, it does. All right. So you're fine, though. You're fine, game. then. Not 20 on the wisdom. Plus You're two. all good, but you do take six slashing damage. I have one health. As it digs your claws into you. It's going nutty. I have, oh, I have one. Hopefully I can kill him. All right. Hopefully I can kill him. It's your turn, Zephyr. I need to get like more health I and will, like, better armor or some shit. I will stabby stab with the rapier. Um, Does a dirty 20 hit his armor? Like, oh, armor. you know a dirty 20 hits him. Dirty, stinky, nasty 20. Five damage. It's, it's still alive. How is this guy still, still alive? alive? That should not just be barely. I, I am still rage. You can make it over just in time. I attack <laughs> him. I save my friend. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> Rolled a hit. He hit him. Does an 11. Ele wait, no, never mind. 11 damage. How do you kill him? I, I knew it! it. Oh. Oh. I grab him by the fucking hay barrel that he is and just spike his ass on the fucking ground. Pick him up, RKO him into the ground, hay poof, everywhere. You have completed combat. Congratulations. And you hear, It appears my scarecrows weren't enough to scare you off. I'm still here. And appearing from the invisibility of Porneth. He clinks his little fingers together like this, and he's wearing a brown cloak. You can now see in the moonlight as he's illuminated. Hey, poking out of all his everywhere, out of all his clothes. And he has wild orange eyes. He's covered in a brown cloak. Be gone from this cornfield and never return, or face the wrath of Corneth. And he walks backwards slowly into the corn and vanishes. Oh, I was going to say, can I cast a spell on him? Uh, you can try and cast a spell on him before he... Uh, I think... Can I try and cast, uh, cast banishment? <laughs> uh, that was a 60 foot radius. Yeah, sure. yeah, you can cast banish on him. <laughs> um... Do we, want to banish him? do we want to banish him? Uh, do we? we might Hold get up. Info from. We could, Don't we want this we to, try be to get like info that. from him? And yeah, but he's also just going to disappear and keep tormenting. Then we'll never we'll figure out the... Uh, well, I guess well, if I guess he gets banished, banished, then, then there, there, won't there won't be a problem. There won't be a problem to have to figure out. No, if you banish him, he does come back after like 10 minutes of concentration. 
It's not a forever uh, banishment. It's temporary. Uh, as Corneth backs away into the corn and vanishes, that's where we're gonna end this episode. <laughs> me. Yep. Yeah, me almost dying. It's okay. <laughs> and me also, killing three fucking all right. corn cake. I want to get food, shit. but also. Bye. See ya. See yeah, next time. Thank you.